Having foods that you consider off limits can actually be the very thing that's preventing you from creating healthy eating habits for life. But as a dietitian, I completely understand why so many people and so many of you have this belief that there are good foods and bad foods and clean and dirty. We're constantly seeing these messages every day saying that this is a good food, this is a bad food, or that you should eat this and you should never eat that. They're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, magazines, books, diet books, cookbooks. They could even be lingering in your mind from just past diets that you did years ago or even something a friend said when you were out to eat last night or last week. Our society and culture have made it so normal to think of foods as good, bad, or off limits. Yes, there are totally some foods that hold more nutritional value and benefits than others do, while some solely provide us that tradition, that culture, enjoyment, or what I like to call the flavor factor. But that doesn't mean that those foods need to be off limits or that they're bad. Trying to eliminate a food or a food group just because you feel it's bad creates this whole all or nothing mentality that you can't have it, you aren't allowed to have it, it's off limits, etc. And it makes you hyper aware, hyper sensitive, and hyper focused on that food choice. And that's why it's better for you to learn how to practice balance than it is to have this off limits foods mentality. So when you learn how to practice a mindful and balanced approach to food, food that was once labeled off limits or bad or good that might have caused you to feel a little bit out of control no longer holds that power over you. That's such an important skill set to have. And that means that you won't have to start and stop on this diet cycle, that you won't feel triggered or out of control around certain foods or situations, and that you'll also be able to make the choices for yourself that you truly want and that are aligned with you. This food freedom that comes with this is incredibly important and it's a huge part of eating well on a daily basis. It's absolutely possible and necessary to not only fuel yourself with nutrient dense foods that give your body what it needs to function optimally and for you to feel your best while also giving yourself permission to enjoy all the foods when you truly want them, not having any shame or regret when you do enjoy them. So my question for you is, do you want to continue holding on to this belief that there are certain foods out there that have to be off limits, or do you want to practice balance? And by having a healthy relationship with food that truly allows you to just to build healthy eating habits for life that you can practice 365 days a year. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and watch my other videos linked here that can help you create healthy eating habits for life that work 365 days a year. I hope you have a beautiful day and remember health is a daily practice.